Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, my name is Caitlin, welcome. And today I'm updating my Pan That palette in order, which is my Bella Pierre All Stars palette. So I actually only started doing this project a few months ago. It was after a lot of deliberation, it was after a lot of umming and eyeing because as you guys may know, I do a lot of panning projects here on my channel. I spend my life project panning and I thought another panning project. That's insane. That's ridiculous. So I'm going to do it, you know? <laughs> so I chose my Bella Pierre All Stars palette. It is a 35 pan palette, but they are quite easy shades to hit pan on. And this is my second update, which means we were working on the second shade. So uh, yeah, some exciting progress to share with you today. But just before we do jump into the update, if you haven't already, definitely like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. I do so many project pans, shop my stashes, and get ready with me's. As always, everything on my face will be linked down below, as well as the products mentioned in this video. If you are interested in this eye look, how cool, how cool is this? I did do this on camera. It was a BYOP little Halloween video. I'll link it up in the cards if you did miss that. It is live now and you don't wanna miss this cool look. It was really good. We went through my singles collection. We pulled out all the shades that we wanted to use. And yeah, this was the result. So definitely not one to miss. Okay, so the Bella Pierre All Stars palette. Let's jump into it. So last month, this is what the palette was looking like. As I said, we had hit pan on the first shade, which was like a very pale champagne-y shimmer shade. I used this in my inner corner and my brow bone and as a highlighter 11 times to hit pan on it. And we had moved on to working on the kind of peachy matte next to it. And this is what it looks like today. As you can see, we have hit pan on that peachy matte. I'm very, very excited. It took us a grand total of nine uses and we have another shiny pan. So here it is. I am pre-filming a little bit just because with this project, I don't know, I feel like I like to pre-film. I like to update every pan and I like to just pre-film so I can get another like month's progress. I don't know. You know what I mean? You know, I'm just organized. I'm so organized like that. But this is the shade that we were working on. I'm gonna hold it this way, actually. It's gonna be easier. This is the shade we were working on and we have hit pan again after nine uses. So I found that this shade went really, really well with a shade that I'm trying to finish in my Pan That palette this month. It blended out burnt orange so nicely. And that is how I use this for my more everyday, casual, not this kind of look. Just a very easy, like two mattes in the crease and then a shimmer kind of looks. And that is how I used it. And I actually did use it as a bronzer. I mixed it in with this third shade. I mixed the two together and they make a really nice bronzer shade. I did that twice. So that means that this third shade also has two uses on it going into the next update. I'm learning that I'm really, really loving this palette. The mattes are really, really pigmented and blendable. This has been neglected quite a lot in my collection over the past few years. And that is another reason why I wanted to bring it out, play it around with it. But because it is a pan that palette in order, it's not like so intense and overwhelming. I'm only working on one eyeshadow at a time. And that's very good for me. I am happy with that. <laughs> so yeah, we are moving from this peachy matte to this kind of, not a deep brown, it's like a mid brown shade. It's a matte. And I don't think this will take that long to hit pan on. I think it will go really, really well with the remaining shades in my Pan That palette. I am panning the Modern Renaissance palette as my overall Pan That palette this year, not Pan That palette in order, just pan that whole palette. I will link it in the cards if you did miss last update. It was a really, really good update. You don't want to miss it. But I think it'll go really nicely with Burnt Orange and Golden Ochre and maybe Rialgar as well. I think it 
will mix, it won't clash too much. That's what I was quite worried about with a palette like this. This top row does clash quite a lot with my Pan That palette and also this bottom row as well, but I don't have to worry about this bottom row for like a year yet, so I'm fine. <laughs> I have decided as well, I'm not going to weigh this palette anymore because at the end of the day, I'm using one shade less than 10 times normally. I did try and weigh it and the weights were way off. It gained like two grams and it's just not worth it. So I'm not gonna be doing that anymore. I'm sure you guys understand. It's just, it, it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense. There's pretty much no weight loss. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to get this front row done. My goal was to get this top row done by the end of the year. I don't think I'll be able to do that, to be honest. I've got two pans here and I do have one pan at the end here. So that means one, two, three, four pans by the end of the year in order. Bit of a push, bit of a push that one, but we'll see, we'll see. I am also gonna start working on this shimmer shade. It's the first true shimmer shade that we have had in this palette so far. I'm gonna do my nails with it, I think. That'll be really nice. And yeah, I'm just gonna start working on it as I'm working on this brown as well. That's what I like to do. I like to kind of work on both of the shades, the like two first shades, so who knows? Maybe two pans, shimmers are easier to hit pan on the mats, so maybe two pans by next update. That could be interesting, who knows, who knows? Oh, I forgot to say as well, I also used this blue shade down here. I did use that on my nails as well. It was so shimmery and glimmery and beautiful. Uh, so I do have one use on that. I'm a little bit scared to do it again, even though I loved it because it's pretty close to pan already, to be honest. So I don't really want to hit pan on it because I do want to hit pan on them in order. Obviously hitting a pan wouldn't be detrimental. It wouldn't be devastating to me. I would still be quite happy. But I don't know, there's something quite fun about the challenge of doing it in order. So yeah, I thought I'd mention that as well. These shades are stunning for nail polishes, like absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I'm looking forward to playing around with this shade as a nail polish. Hopefully it won't look too bad. Hopefully it'll look nice, shimmery. The shimmer formula in here is absolutely gorgeous. So if you do have any Bella Pierre palettes, pull them out. This is your sign to pull them out and play around with them because I have fallen in love with this, to be honest. Love it. So yeah, these updates are always really, really short. I never really know what to say. I feel like I should be talking more, but at the end of the day, I'm only talking about one eyeshadow that I've hit pan on. So yeah, there's not really much else to say. I'm very happy, obviously, that I am making some progress in this palette. Two pans now, let's aim for three next month. I do try to update this project monthly, but if I hit a pan sooner or later, it's no big deal. It's just, it is what it is. But I have every faith that I will have another pan for you very, very soon. So this is where I'm gonna love you and leave you guys. If you did enjoy this video, definitely like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out this eye look. I'm sure everyone's gonna love it. I think it's so cool, very Halloween-y based, like I said. I am gonna be crying taking this off tonight because yeah, I really do like it. <laughs> I hope you all have an absolutely incredible day and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye!